Hello students, before we proceed to the graphing of the different types of functions, we need to understand first the illustration of the set of elements for domain and range through interval notation. Okay? We already have initial discussion about domain and range, and domain is the set of all allowed input values, or the first coordinate. Now the range is the set of all resulting values or the output values, and that is the second coordinate of, a, of an ordered pair. Now in this case, uh, the set of ordered pairs is being enclosed by braces, meaning it is very limited. Now we can just list down the elements of the domain in this case. So we have negative 1, 2, 0, and 1. Now for the range, we have 3, 9, 7, and 21. Now listing is very possible because the elements of the of this set, the set of ordered pairs here, when it comes to the number of elements, it's just finite. It's just countable. So listing of elements is possible. Now this is the Cartesian coordinate plane. It is composed by the two um, perpendicular lines. The horizontal line represents the x-axis and the vertical real number line represents the y-axis okay when you keep on moving from zero you notice that the numbers as you go to the left are decreasing right now if you keep on decreasing without bound then you are referring to negative infinity it means that when you see negative infinity the numbers are decreasing without bound it's never ending okay now from zero you're moving to the right observe Observe that the numbers are increasing from 2, it turned to 4, to 6, then you have 6.1 and others infinite numbers. Then as you go okay, to the right infinitely, then it means to say the numbers are increasing without bound. And that is also true to the y-axis. When you keep on increasing, you go up, then that is also positive infinity. You keep on decreasing, that is also a representation of negative infinity. Now, this infinity here, symbols, are not real numbers. They are just behavior, what's going on to the number, okay? So infinity is not a number. Now, if numbers are not countable or cannot be listed that way, then the number would mean infinite, okay? Now, consider this uh, real number line. Now, there is a green line here representing the, the behavior of the numbers. Now you see there is an arrow as it moves to the right. There's an arrow as it moves to the right. There's also an arrow as it moves to the left. So it means that there is no restriction. Then we can say that the set of all real numbers are involved or are part of this particular uh, elements or set. Okay, so that is how we understand all real numbers. No restrictions at all. No single element in the real number line is not part of the elements of that particular domain or range okay now on the next second example 16 uh there's a shaded portion here right so it means to say 16 is part of it then it moves to the right an arrow tells you infinite to the right meaning to say so there you go we use a half bracket here so it means that at least 16 like starts at 16 at nagi increase na siya no infinitely kaya positive infinity here so ang tinutukoy niya at least 16 or minimum of 16 and all real numbers greater than or equal to 16 are part of that particular set be it range or domain okay now on the third example we see that there is positive 3 here and the green um, behavior here so it moves to the left infinitely so what can we say about that since it is shaded on three the circle is shaded then it means three is part of it so kaya siya half bracket it is been three is part of it so how do we understand that then we say that all real numbers less than or equal to three kasi pababa ka dito so numbers as you move here to the left then the numbers are decreasing that's why less than packet or equal to 3 because on the part of 3 here it is shaded so 3 is part of it okay so what about this uh, next three examples we have here shaded 5 and unshaded 20 
and then here there is a green line so it means to say they're connected they're moving from this portion how do we illustrate that so it means that the number the numbers here are at least 5 but less than 20 kaya kung Kung sasabihin mo 5.2, kasama ang number ng tinutukoy mo dito sa interval niya. Okay? Kung sasabihin mo 20, hindi na yung kasama 20 because it's not shaded. It is excluded in this part. The term there is less than 20. And 20 is not less than 20. Okay? What about this next? 1 half to 2. It means to say, mag-start ka sa 1 half hanggang sa 2. At yun lang ang numbers na tinutukoy mo. Okay? So, from 1 half to 2. So, if the question is, is a number uh, 1 part of the interval? Yes, because 1 is between 1 half and 2, right? What about kung 0? Is 0 part of the interval? No, because 0 is less than 1 half. Hindi na siya kasama dito. Okay? Next, unshaded for negative 3, unshaded for 3. So it means to say the numbers are between negative 3 and 3. Between. So ibig sabihin hindi kasama ang negative 3 and 3. Ang dalawang endpoints ay hindi kasama. So if the question is, is 0 part of the interval? Yes, because 0 is greater than negative 3 but less than 3, right? Is 3.2 part of the interval? No, because 3.2 is greater than 3. And in here, in the interval, it's only between negative 3 and 3. Okay, so you need to be very careful. Okay, there are also cases like this. No? So from 2, it is unshaded. And you see the green uh, part here. No, it moves to the left. So the arrow tells you it's infinite to the left. Now, there is blue here. So meaning, hindi daw kasama dito. Hindi daw kasama ang part na to. So kanina, kasama hanggang dun sa left. Pero hindi kasama ang negative 2, right? Because this is unshaded. Here, from 0, it is shaded, then it moves to the right. And how do we understand that? Uh, may, may natanggal dito, right? So, gagamitan na natin siya ng union symbol. Remember that during your grade 7, uh, I know that you're, you're already aware of the union, intersection, and others. Union would mean addition, means combining. Our, oh, what we are trying to do here is we are combining all elements negative infinity to negative 2 or all numbers less than negative 2 plus all numbers greater than or equal to 0 are combined together as one set and that is union okay that is uh, the significance of the union of sets so what about in this case we know that it's negative 2.14 excluded right now here it moves to the left infinitely, it moves to the right infinitely. However, negative 2.14 is not part of it. That's how we understand. Meaning to say, we only exclude negative 2.14. That is why in the symbol, we're using the parenthesis. Meaning, meaning to say, it is excluded. Negative 2.14 is excluded. We use union because since a certain number, just a single number is excluded, then there is a division already on the left. And the right, that is why we need to use union symbol to connect these two. Okay, again, it's only negative 2.14 that is excluded in the set here. After illustrating the set of elements in interval notation, the next thing we need to do is to determine whether a given number belongs to an interval. So I have here in interval, uh, we read this one as all set of real numbers that is greater than negative 3.57 but less than or equal to 7.4 let's have the first number 5.89 is a number less than 3 point, uh, less than 7.4 but greater than negative 3.57 so this number is part of the interval next number negative 3.56 is a number greater than negative 3.57 because negative 3.56 is greater than negative 3.57, then the number is on the right of negative 3.57. So that number is found on the interval. Okay, next, 0. It is clear that 0 is found on the interval. Next number, 7.399 or 7.399 is a number. 
is a number that is not equal to 7.4 okay we do not round off numbers here but 7.399 is a number less than 7.4 so therefore that is part of the interval what about negative 6.4 okay negative 6.4 is less than negative 3.57 so this number is not found on the interval not part of the interval negative 3.62 negative 3.62 is less than negative 3.57 because this number is not nearer to zero but negative 3.57 is nearer to zero meaning negative 3.62 is not part of the interval okay so we cross it out next number 7.4 do we consider 7.4 as part of the interval we go back to the symbol here half bracket so it means to say 7.4 is included in the given so let's place a check what about 7.4001 that is already obviously greater than 7.4 so that is not part of the interval. So negative three point negative three point fifty seven is it part of the interval? So we go back to the representation we have here half closed. So this symbol tells you that negative three point fifty seven is not part. Okay, so this number the given is not part of the interval.